Google Cloud Next 2017 hosted more talks detailing the future of cloud than you can shake a stick at. If you didn't get a chance to catch Yufeng Guo's session on device machine learning, TensorFlow on Android, then stay tuned because here's the recap. By combining TensorFlow with your mobile applications, you can create magical AI experiences for your users based on their custom datasets. This is tricky though, since today's mobile devices don't have enough power to train AI models. Not to mention that it takes terabytes of high quality training data to build a new model from scratch. The solution then is to split the difference, leveraging the power of the cloud to drive your mobile experience. Creating new machine learning models is extremely resource intensive, so the most practical approach is to use Cloud ML to train your TensorFlow data in the cloud, and then deploying your trained model on your iOS, Android, Raspberry Pi devices. A great example of this is adding customized image recognition to your mobile app app that works in real time and offline. We start by gathering the training data, which includes the objects we want to recognize in lots of variations, multiple angles, different lighting, different backgrounds and orientations. The images of each object get stored in its own Google Cloud Storage folder, ready for use in training the model. Training a brand new model from scratch is a time and resource intensive process, so we're going to cheat. By using Cloud ML, we can leverage a technique known as transfer learning, which lets us alter the final layer of Google's massive 48 layer image recognition model called Inception V3, which handles categorization and recognition of objects. Uh, by leveraging the existing model, we can train on fewer examples and in far less time. Now, once your model has been trained, you need to optimize it before incorporating it into your app. A newly trained model is typically around 80 megs, so we'll want to trim that down before putting it on a device. To start with, we can remove the parts of the model which are used only for training, which we can't be used on those devices anyway. We can shrink it even more using a technique called quantization. Here, we take the 32-bit floating point values used to represent each pixel in an image and reduce it to 8-bit values. While this is lossy, the neural network is designed to take fuzzy input into account when doing identification, so we can lose significant image quality without sacrificing accuracy. Using this approach alone, we can reduce our model by 4x, bringing it down to about 20 megs. Now, when our optimizations are complete, we can deploy our model. Now, keep in mind that the model itself is still 20 megs, so while you can package it directly within your app, you may want to make it available as a separate download. Check out the full session video to see Yufeng demonstrate his amazing candy sorter demo and learn more about how you can use TensorFlow and ML to create magical experiences in mobile's apps. And if you want more recaps on great Next content, make sure to check out the rest of our playlist and don't forget the Next World Tour coming soon to a city near you.